Okay. Talk a little bit about that, about the severity of what's going on in Sudan. You know, what's going on in Sudan was a fight before between a uh, Christian and, uh, and a Muslim. But not all the Muslims are better, but there are some, like the government are using Islamic as a power. And uh, our people didn't like w w the way w we were treated by them. Uh, so they pick up a gun, they've been fighting for like 20, in 19 to 1983, uh, to year 2000. And then agreement was signed, you know. Uh, doing bill, I mean, doing the uh, Bush administration when they came in, they, you know, peace agreement was signed between the North and South. But now the situation in Darfur is really, really so bad. And, uh, you know, there are not too many Darfurians here mm -hmm. in this country. And the reason why these people have been killing Darfur because they're black African. And those people call themselves Arab, they're going to have to have black African, you know. But the Darfurian, 99%, uh, they are Muslim. You know, they were uh, educated by those people and they were taught by those people to become a Muslim. But uh, they're still black African. So the war stopped now in South Sudan. Then they turn around, you know, in uh, fighting uh, people therefore. And I feel that uh, I should be speaking about decayed people. And I think that now American people know more about therefore more than, you know, they know about Sudan more now than before. And people are talking, but no action being taken because Sudan is, very, is a great country. It's a nice country, you know, large, large land in Africa, you know. Uh, but the war since 1956, uh, the war been going on like that, you know. A lot of people die in the south. And I don't want what happened to their 40. I mean, to us, in southern Sudan, happened to their 40. But it still is happening now, you know. They lost almost 400,000. Yeah, so so what, I'll go what out needs and to happen? Speak about it. Uh -huh. What needs to happen to to really bring about change? Uh, what happened is we, the international community plus America, and they got to put a pressure on the government to bring peace in that for, and the people can uh, live free. You know, Sudan is better, is a great country, it's a nice country, mm -hmm. but the the people on the power in the north, you know, the government of Sudan is really really so bad. You know, you can talk, you can send food there, but uh, no protection, you know, nobody do protecting those people, you know. You take the food there, and then medicine and the people come out from bush. Mm -hmm. They try to come and get uh, food, and then they, they get bummed in the air. Uh, young Jews are gone in, in the ground, and these people are being owned by the Sudan government. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're still talking, you know. Mm -hmm. I hope one day God change the thing, you know, to bring peace in there for I want to go back to your accident for a little bit. You um, have experienced some really difficult times because of bills resulting, I would imagine, from an accident. Can you talk a bit more about that and how you're managing to, to make it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people didn't think that I was going to make it. Uh, it's in my step, too, but uh, first of all, I, I was complaining to the God. I said, God, why me? Because I think that I, I have a lot of people, you know. I've been mm -hmm. doing a lot of things for good thing for the people. Why I me? Mean, and then uh, still feeling better a little bit. So I say, you know what? The taxi driver, he died right away. I was rejected in the highway. I got no broken bone on my leg. Mm -hmm. Only my hands and I'm alive. I should not complain to God because I should say, God, thank you for saving me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of pain, you know. I live with pain every day, uh, you know. I got to take some medicine for the pain. Uh, with a score like this is a bit of bad, but you know, I cannot complain because uh, uh, God is great. I'm walking here, I'm traveling, you know, try to uh, to educate people, you know, to speak out and you know, let people know what's going on. And I should not be complaining, you know, I should uh, say I'm lucky mm -hmm. enough and God is great and is saving and I'm doing more than before. Yeah, there was an article about you that the headline said, Broken but blessed. Yes. <laughs> so how did you feel about that? I guess it goes yeah, along with it was what you're I mean, A lot of people are afraid for me, you know. Yeah. And American people are being very good to me. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are praying for me every day. African, you know, American, European, that people that I know. Mm -hmm. And these are people that heal me, you know. And uh, uh, during that time, during my car accident, uh, I owed a lot of bills, you know, from uh, hospital. And they raised uh, some good numbers of money, you know. I had a friend of mine, Chris Mullen, playing, uh, you know, I played with him in Golden State Warriors. He 
it erased almost 80,000 uh, erased 80,000 dollars mm -hmm. from my medical bill and I had some friend that around there you know they helped me a lot mm -hmm. so you know uh, people have been very nice to me and, uh, and that's why I feel very good I say you know yeah. now I know what I did yeah. good and yeah. see so it's the law good. of reciprocity yeah, exactly, you know exactly. it's coming back to you exactly what other projects uh, are you involved with what other causes I am doing, uh, we, my cousin and myself, we organized the uh, Ring True Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried to build some uh, school there, uh, some clinic. But it had been very hard, you know, uh, to raise money. So when I got a car accident, I didn't do, I didn't do a lot. Mm -hmm. But I'm still doing it now, you know. I'm talking to MB, I'm talking to a lot of people that uh, I need to, you know, since the war uh, started in 1983. We never have a kiss. Uh, nobody went to school. No school was. No uh, health care. So now the peace agreement being signed, I don't know if it's going to hold up or not, but there's time for us that I feel that I should help my people out to get, try to get them education because I know that education is very important. Uh, like in the United States, the reason why America is very good because uh, everybody is educated. You know, they go to school, they work, and you know, they work together. Uh, so we want to, you know, build some school and some uh, clinic, you know, to, to help our people out. Mm -hmm. Do you ever see this conflict coming to a resolution no. in Sudan? No. Uh, you know, uh, people are talking, but uh, no action. And, and that, that's the bad thing about it. Uh, but uh, uh, Sudan government should be forced uh, to sign peace agreement with the mm -hmm. because. Therefore, less than three million mm -hmm. people, and you lost four hundred thousand already. And it's still, you know, it's still going on. You know, people are dying of disease, hunger, mm -hmm. and, uh, and also they've been killed. You know, by uh, government of Sudan. Mm -hmm. uh, but the international community, the UN was going to go in there, but uh, Bin Laden told United States and the UN that if you go to Sudan, we're going to shake you out like what we did in Somalia. So international community are not taking action, and people are getting killed there, mm. and it is so 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 bad. But for me, it just speaking out, but I cannot do anything. You know, mm. uh, I don't have a power, and also our people in the south, they 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 speak out about it. They say the peace should come to their mm -hmm. Uh because you cannot have one side having the peace, and one side is fighting a war. You know, yeah. in the same country. And, uh, I hope one day, you know, uh, international community plus American. I mean, I want the UN to go in there like what, what they did to Bosnia, you know, save heaven. Uh, they did that in Lebanon, but I don't know why they cannot do it in Sudan in that far. And I want to see that uh, someday maybe, you know, God might wake up somebody and say, you got to do something mm -hmm. to save these people. Your, your dad is about five what? Uh, no. You see what they put uh, there, it's not uh, the truth, but I don't want to say that it's not white, but mm. it's not white. My How dad is 6'7". Uh, oh, 6'7", yeah, okay. Yeah, my mom six, uh, and seven. You were, yeah. you were seven? And my grand-grandfather is what, like uh, seven, okay. ten, you know. Okay, Seven, eight, seven, ten, and I'm seven, uh, seven. So what about your family, um, your your wife, your children? Uh, my ex-wife, uh, she's five, uh, seven. Mm -hmm. But I have a son, like, uh, he's going to be 18, he's 17 years old. He's about 6'8", six, 6'7". Six, you know. At 17 years old? Yeah. And uh, I have, uh, you know, Does he play call. basketball? Or? Yeah, he's playing okay. basketball. Mm -hmm. He played in high school back mm -hmm. in uh, New Jersey. Yeah. I would I would love to watch his career and, and see a, how he progresses. I got a little one, uh, seven years old, is going to be tall. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and then you have a 10 months? Yeah, yeah. I have a 10 months, yeah. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Keeps you busy.